We've added Firebase Remote Config to our Xcode project and in this video we will start using it and we will set up some default parameters. And I will use app delegate for that. There are two places I like to do it in. One of them is application did finish launching with options function. This is when our application just started or I prefer to do it in application did become active function. Let me just find it here. It should be one of the functions that is created and added to app delegate by default when you create a new Xcode project. So here we have application will resign active, application did enter background, and here we have application did become active. So this function will be called every time when your application becomes active. So here I will I'll make a call to a new function that I'm going to create and I will call it something like setup app remote configuration. And now I will copy its name and we'll scroll at the bottom here and we'll add a new function. Setup app remote configuration. And here I will set up default values for my mobile application to use because remote configuration values are being fetched from a remote location and that might take some time, especially when our application has just been installed and it is a very first time user starts it up. So it needs to be initialized with some default initial values. And to set up remote configuration default values, we will use remote config object and we will need to first get a singleton instance of this remote config object and we can do it by calling remote config and once we have this object we can call set defaults which accepts a dictionary with the string value for a key and an s object for a value so let's select this for now and create this dictionary manually. But you could also use a plist to create your default initialization values inside of that plist and then load them using a set defaults function but with a different uh, constructor. So let's create a new dictionary and I will call it remote config default values, something like this, and that will be equal to uh, a dictionary. So now let um, create a one key like for example I want to enable or disable button so I will um, give it a name is register button enabled and a value of this key will be true true for enabled and false for disabled and because it is string and object dictionary I will need to do as an s object like so and now I can take this remote config default values and paste it here as a parameter to set defaults function. Okay, so now we have one important step that I have missed is that inside of app delegate, we will need to import Firebase. I do have it imported already, but if for some reason you don't, you will need to import Firebase. And actually when you import Firebase, you don't really need to import other Firebase services, like for example, Firebase messaging, you can delete this. And let's save it. And now when we have added our defaults, we can start using them already. And since I'm going to disable or enable a register button in my registration page, I will go to my main storyboard and find my user registration page, this one. I could also use sign in view controller and enable or disable this register button, but I would like to use this one. And when the view is presented to user, if sign up button is disabled, I will display a message like uh, due to maintenance, uh, registration button is disabled, please come back a little bit later. So I will take this view controller and I will open it in assistant editor. I'll choose uh, my view controller and then I will need to have a button to be able to enable or disable it. And I do have a button, but I do not have an outlet for it. So I will create an outlet. So I'll select the button, hold control button, click drag and drop to create, to create an outlet and I'll call it sign up button like this, connect. And I could use view did load to disable or enable this button, but I would like to use view did appear. So I will use overwrite and then func 
view did appear super view did appear animated okay so inside of view did appear as soon as view appeared i will enable or disable this button and to do that i will first read the default value which i have configured in app delegate and then i will fetch the remote configuration and then if it has a different value it will override the default value so first of all i will read the default value which i have set so i'll create a new variable or constant so it will be is registered button enabled equals and i will read it from remote config and then i'll get an instance of this remote config object here it is and now i can get a configuration value for key so i will call config value for key and the name of my key is a string i'll just delete this one and this is the value okay but now um, the value can be different because uh, the dictionary that holds the file value has a key and an object as a value so because it is an object we will need to cast it it could be a boolean it could be an integer it could be a string value for text so because we have stored true there we will need to get a boolean value so i will put a dot here and i'll choose bool value and next we will simply set this as a property to our sign up button so i can do sign up button and then call is enabled and set the value of is registered button enabled to it so if is registered button enabled holds true then our sign up button will be enabled but if it holds false then our button will be disabled very simple let's quickly run and test it and see if it works by default our button is enabled because in our app delegate we have set the default value to true and with the remote configuration we will then set it to false and we'll disable it for testing purposes so let's run this application okay my application is up and running i will click on the register button and the default value is true but it is disabled something is going on so let me go and set the breakpoints i'll go to my view controller and then the view did appear function and we'll set the breakpoint here right at the line where, where i disable or enable my button and i will stop this application and run it again click on register button and my breakpoint is on so i will check the value the value is false so everything is correct i think i need to check for typo inside of my is registered button enabled so let me copy this key and let me go back to app delegate and let me paste it here yeah i see a typo let me now save it stop it and run again okay i will click on register button should trigger a breakpoint so the now value is true which is correct let's play it and the sign up button is enabled okay the next step for us will be to set up remote configuration values and then fetch them and apply whatever we have received to our mobile application and in case of this example we will disable our sign up button